You, Adam, have been in the news lately for losing something else. And by reading some of the headlines, one would be led to believe that you lost a dangerous top-secret surveillance drone that you were flying over uh, Adams Morgan. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm a little embarrassed. I, I, what exactly did you uh, lose, and why did you lose it, and what does the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, have to do with it? Okay, well, you have to go back to, you may keep on mentioning I work for Mintwood Media, I founded it. I've been doing public relations work for the number one selling organic soap company, Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. Which it's a hemp doing soap right company. Now. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit right now. And um, I make videos for Is that for the them. one with all the proselytizing on yes. it? Yes. Um, <laughs> go this ahead, is the original hippie soap. Yeah. So, um, it looks like something from the 1890s. <laughs> which is when I started using it. <laughs> but so go ahead. I make videos for them, and uh, I was experimenting with doing aerial video work for the last two years. A, and hemp, a hemp drone? <laughs> well, this is a Chinese-built drone. Uh, it's actually a quadcopter. It's called a T580 for anyone who wants to Google that and see what it looks like. And um, I've probably flown uh, 100 flights. I've had three crashes in 100 flights, and unfortunately, uh, uh, this was one of them. So it wasn't really a crash. It was more of losing control of the copter uh, fil while filming the Adams Morgan Day Festival uh, from maybe about 100 feet up. And it just, the wind was blowing suddenly and took it off course. I lost orientation. And it eventually lost uh, contact with the remote after maybe being about 5,000 feet away uh, south of me. And um, I could still see it the whole time. I never lost eye contact with it. But it landed um, on its own somewhere around uh, 17th and Florida or Beekman Place. Or uh, if you live like Murray Reed School. <laughs> are you trying to, are, are you trying to use this returned? It hasn't been You're returned. trying to use this broadcast to, to, reach, <laughs> well, to get your good. drone I mean, it has, a, it has some spectacular video on it. And if it's found, I'm sure the video, it's on a it's on a card. I'm sure it's still there and we could all watch it. Uh, but it landed, yeah, it, it's landed at a gradual rate. So it probably didn't smash. It's probably on a roof. I've searched the area. I've canvassed. I put signs up and that... I, I didn't go to the media for help, but it turns out some journalists saw the signs and couldn't resist writing What's about it. What's the law? Uh, what, is, what law are you breaking? What did the <laughs> FAA tell you when well, they eventually got yes. in touch with you about the law? Well, if I lived anywhere else in the country, with the exception of Los Angeles, what I was doing was perfectly legal. No fly zone. Uh, yes, but it turns out there is a freeze. Uh, I, I found this out. The FAA, FAA called me up last Friday, very politely explained that there is a freeze that went into place in 2009, part of Homeland Security. Um, they do jam uh, these unmanned vehicles so in this district. It's possible that NSA or Homeland Security took my drone down. Um, no one has admitted that, and uh, no calls have been made over there trying to find out. Um, but I think what the FAA basically said to me was they think I should have the right to fly it, and in the future I will because there is going to be a licensing program for commercial video and other type of aerial uh, uses Why for these Why do copters. I feel like you're contrasting the politeness of the Federal Aviation Administration with your treatment at the hands of the Metropolitan Police Department of the District of Columbia? <laughs> Okay, so the way I see it is the <laughs> Metropolitan Police simply could have come in and had a conversation with our store at Capitol Hill. I mean, every other jurisdiction in the country, um, Metropolitan, uh, the local police department, if they have a problem, typically give a warning. And we had no warning. Um, we had an inspection just a month earlier for the tobacco. We were not in violation of any district laws. What they're trying to do is bully us out of the city. And they successfully did that. They took all of our property, over $300,000 worth of property. They kept it in seizure. and Why not sue? Well, they've made a deal with us. It will drop all the charges. You'll have no criminal conviction whatsoever if you just do some community service. And we'll give you four months to close, which was quite nice to be able to stay open for another four months. So... <laughs> going out of business. So we, we sold, we were able to get our inventory back, we were able to sell it off, which has also seemed bizarre considering, you know, the government raided us and took it all.